Hi, Frida Weisel here, your favorite tour guide in Hasidic Williamsburg. We are here on the first fall day, really, we're getting this sweater weather for the first time this year, and we're really getting the sense of the high holidays. And you know, there's a little bit of a fall foliage happening in Hasidic Williamsburg during this season as the neighborhood changes so, so much during the high holidays from one holiday to another. And I want to share that a little bit with you by visiting a couple of times during the high holidays and showing you how the neighborhood changes for each holiday. We're here right on the eve of the Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah, when two days are observed to celebrate the new Jewish year, but also to repent and to pray for a good new year. So this is a very somber holiday with a lot of rituals uh, revolving around newness, beginnings, but also uh, the plea and the hope for sweetness. We, there's a lot of honey uh, being used to symbolize a sweet and good next year. Hello, we're looking at the pomegranates. Oh. We're looking at the Rosh Hashanah fruits. Oh, uh, there's plenty of more inside. Oh, okay, maybe we're gonna go inside. So, for the high holidays, Rosh Hashanah, you celebrate this sweet new year, yes. See, people are helping me. Uh, you eat uh, pomegranate, which is called the Yiddish Milgram, which according to folklore here, according to the legend, it has exactly 613 kernels which stands for the 613 commandments in the Torah and you it's one of the iconic staples of the Jewish New Year so they'll bring these in now during the holiday season as well as red apples which you dip in honey for uh, part of the Rosh Hashanah meal rituals as well you also eat exotic fruits that you don't eat the rest of the year to sort of uh, as, as a blessing for the Jewish New Year let's let's take a look at some of the exotic fruits this, which I don't know what it is, this creature, I don't even know how you eat it. What is this? I have never in my life seen this, but you eat those and then you say shachianu, which means uh, a blessing for something that you have done eaten for the first time. And expensive fruits that you buy more for the ritual than for the eating itself. Ever see before a honey dipper? It says Happy New Year. This is a real pomegranate with 613 bits of ice cream. I can guarantee you it's exact <laughs> uh, for the holiday season. How could you say no to honey cookies? So the honey cookies are seasonal, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Giga Ben chewed. I got the cookies for free. How about that? Actually, I have a recipe for honey cookies on my website. I share it out of the goodness of my heart because I believe it's one of the few recipes that are doable for people like me who can't really bake anything. And I make myself, but also buying other people's honey cookies is a really nice thing. Honey cookies are a little thicker than a, than a sponge cake. It's better when it's free. So one of the things that you'll see this time of year is a lot of people wish each other a Happy New Year or shake hands. Generally, when I first started to give tours for years and years, I would just walk around during the New Year like an outsider and people have gotten to know me well enough. So many people came up to me and wished me a Happy New Year and it's, and it's really, really lovely to be part of that uh, moment See the silver? Pretty sure that cup over there would be a honey holder, which you put, you used to put the honey in it on the table. For $70. I can't show you, I can buy one and blow one. $70 is out of my price range. It is part of the Jewish New Year's um, repentance rituals 
where you blow a ram's horn that's been dried out and it makes this like long wailing sound. And that wailing sound is supposed to evoke you towards feelings of remorse over the things that you've done badly and towards a desire to rectify your ways. It is actually really difficult to blow a chauffeur. I can tell you I've tried. What can we find in honey? Ah, there's a honey cake. Honey buns. So the hollis are still regular but actually for Rosh Hashanah Hollis are gonna be round to symbolize the cyclical cycle of the year, I believe. This is how I remember it. But all the Hollis are gonna be changing in a day and a half and they're all gonna be round Hollis. That's the Rosh Hashanah New Year Hollis. This is a poster that reflects the somber time of the year. The Rosh Hashanah is a time of Repentance is a Jewish New Year where your fate for the next year is being decided. So you have to spend the holiday thinking about your actions and correcting your actions and finding a course of action and praying for forgiveness for the ways that you've erred. All of these posters are fresh up the walls now for the new year. I'm about to head home. I want to wish all of you a very sweet and very joyous and very wonderful new year. And I will see you after the new year.